it's now time for Goldwagen Super Hatch. Just under 30 cars coming to do battle at the final round of Super Hatch, and the championship is still wide open. Yes, we send a big shout out to Gerard and hope he gets well soon. And we caught up with the top three in each class. I think we've had a good year in general. Uh, it's going to be very tough to catch Brett. I think he's he's managed to to pull a big enough gap. But I think Class C, we we I think we're pretty much there. Hilton and I are very very close, but on the overalls, uh, Monet and Nick are very close to me. So it's going to see what happens today for us to know exactly what the end result's going to be. But. It's been a good season for us in the John is White team. Yeah, I'm leading Stuart by six points. Um, we've had a good year, been very lucky to keep the points lead after rolling the car at Bikisa. Just trying to bring it home now. Well, Mel, welcome to my world. <laughs> it's wet out there. And it's even wetter for you guys. Wow, this is not going to be easy. It was super, super, super wet in race one. But here we go on board with Ulta, going into turn one off the start. Yeah, heading into turn one now, got to try and sort things out here. Yeah. Hopefully you're all going to get through. It's gingerly, gingerly through there. Hilton's got the lead. On his towel is Vanna. And uh, there's Garland. Now, Garland is fighting for championship honours here, so he cannot afford to make any mistakes today. No, he can't throw it away. If Class B, Nick Martin and Stuart Koenig have got everything to lose, so they've just got to stay on the black stuff. And whoever finishes out best is going to take it. So Hilton pulls away from Garland in second. Robin Kruger in third place. Good to have her back in Super Hatch after her international exports, the Steam Show Combustion Car. She'll certainly have what it takes. And I've got to say, a lot of guys were mentioning this on the day, and I'm going to bring it in from your point of view as well. The ladies just have to have that little bit of a more dainty touch in the wet, so it gives you guys a chance to actually outgun the boys. I don't know. Well, maybe because there's our Robert Ducky who spun off, so possibly. <laughs> Ooh, that was a bit hot into turn five. Zane Vincel not quite getting it right there, but uh, comes in and just misses Mornay by the looks of things. Yeah, Zane, Zane's got a special touch with rejoining the circuit, but here we've got De Lange. He is an absolute rain master. He's right there with the Class B leaders. Trust me, I know all about that because he ran rings around us. And in fact, he goes up the inside of that Class B car and makes it look pretty average considering he's in a Class C machine. He's going to close in on the Class A cars if he keeps up this kind of pace. Yeah, I'm not sure Andre thought it was wet or not. Alt is doing exceptionally well out in the wet as well because it really is tough. There we've got Louise Joubert's had a bit of a spin in turn two, so Greg, possibly not. The girls still try really hard. Uh, they do. I'm not saying they don't try hard. I just think uh, with the, the ladies' touch, it's just a little bit more fainter in terms of uh, keeping control with the car. And I saw that non-stop on the day. I've got to say, hats off to all the ladies that drove on the day. You did an amazing job with these tricky conditions. Well, high five. Thanks, Greg. There we've got Graham Pronk, first race ever in the orange Northern Bolton Tool Golf. And just finishing up ahead of Hilton Van Nieuwenhuizen, who took the checkered flag to beat out Mark Detoy and Robin Kruger for Class A honours. Vanna Peterson and Brett Garland and Andre De Lange in a Class C car up in sixth place. Andre Cullet, seventh overall and first of the Class Bs, ahead of Stuart Connick and Nick Martin. Good run from Beloy. He is just ahead of Mornay Himon. Then it was John O'Koenig, Mel Spur, and Anton Otto, with Alta Van Beek just behind him. Now, if you thought it was wet in race number one, it is pouring in race number two now. How do you drive in these conditions? Well, I can tell you something. I wouldn't have gone out in the mini because it was even wetter than any of the other races of the day. Greg, we had one massive cloud burst as the start happened, and we could see absolutely nothing for two laps. As you can see here, it was super wet. And once again, my theory is correct. Robin leads down into turn two. <laughs> A great start from Robin, and everybody keeping it nicely together as we go through turn two. Talanga's on your outside, though, so uh, maybe just to hang on to him because he seems to get to the front end pretty quickly. On board here with Alta van Veik. And look at these... Con oh! That's your outgoing champion putting it in the wall. That just shows the kind of conditions they're driving in. Look at the streams of water coming off those tyres. No, turn four was properly wet. Well, so was turn five, clearly, because Vanna Peters is running wide, and that puts Brett up into third place. Moves Colonel Mustard into fourth, Nick Martin into fifth overall. Gallitz is right there. Go, Andre. Doing a great job out there, buddy. Keep it up. I love to see the improvement that's happening with that car. Miles Spur fighting just ahead of Zane. Then you can see the rest of the field. Alter's there too. But Mark Detoy. Wow, look at that. How do you get traction? How do you get drive? How do you get anything in these kind of conditions? With difficulty. But I have to say, Andre De Lange, Class C car, fourth overall with Andre Kallitz in a Class B car, fifth overall, chasing down this Class A pack. You go, boys. Love it when the guys at the back get to the front end. This man I expected to see at the front as well because he's also very good in the wet conditions. And uh, I think that little Opal Cadet has certainly given him a great uh, car to play with. 
but not only are you dealing with uh, the wet weather conditions on the track, you're also dealing with misting windscreens. So visibility is becoming a, an issue now. As you can see there in Hilton's little C2 and he's sideways again, but at least he's recovered from his off. Go Mal, up there into what is probably going to be third overall for the day. So if you can just stay there, Mark de Toy is going to take the victory. And as we've seen all season long, he comes across the line and wins out. But he's also exceptionally good in the wet. In the overall standings and Class A, Brett Garland taking the honours there ahead of Hilton van Nieuwenhuizen, the outgoing champion. Van Petersen third, Mark de Toy in fourth place. In the Class Bs, Nick Martin got it from Stuart Koenig on the day ahead of John O'Koenig, Ish Beloy and Andre Kallitz. Class C's, it's all about Mornay Himmon this season, but Malzburg up in second place. Congratulations, great to have you on board as always for Sam Gabber behind you. I had a really good race there. The first lap going through turn four, we were all together. I got a little bit ahead and then half a lap later, I looked in my rearview mirror, there was no one there. And that wraps up the Extreme Festival of Motorsport for 2014.